In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom gift bag perfect for Christmas or birthdays using Clear HTV. I am going to be showing you how to sell on the Clear HTV as well as how to sew the whole bag together. If you want to see how to do it, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do sublimation and sewing videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and hit the bell notification button so you can be notified every time I upload. I have a membership that is focused on sublimation and sewing, combining the two together. I will have the link in the description. There are two tiers. There is a $10 tier and a $15 tier, so go check it out. And let's jump into this video. So for this project, you're gonna need two pieces of outer main fabric and these are going to be cut to 17 by 18 and a half i'm using duck canvas for mine this is what duck canvas looks like i got mine at hobby lobby it's just like that nice almost burlap looking fabric which i really like for these. If you're using duck canvas, you want to finish off your edges because it frays really badly. You can either use a serger to finish it off or you can use an overcast stitch on your sewing machine. You're also going to want two pieces of lining fabric cut to the exact same dimensions as your outer, which Again, for me, is 18 and a half by 17. I just thought this would be a good size to get a good size present in here. I'm just using cotton from Hobby Lobby and I finished off my edges as well. You don't have to finish it off, but you know, cotton can fray a little bit. So I just wanted to finish off my edges. So again, two pieces of lining and two pieces of your main outer fabric. You're going to need some ribbon or a drawstring, whatever you decide to use. I will be using this ribbon that's actually from Dollar Tree. Like this was a good find. It was 25 yards for a dollar 25 and it's good ribbon. I got it in a few colors. If you're using ribbon, you want to have a lighter to melt your edge so that it does not fray. This is also from Dollar Tree. You're going to want some pins or clips. I prefer clips but you can use pins if you want to. You're gonna need some clear HTV, some butcher paper, and then your design on sublimation paper, as well as a heat press and your sewing machine. You're also gonna need some heat tape, a ruler. I recommend like the six and a half by 24 rulers, a marking tool, a bodkin or a safety pin, and a chopstick or something to poke out your corners. So for your design, all you're gonna have to do is have your PNG and then create an offset that is a little bit bigger than your PNG. The size of your offset is completely up to you. If you need to, you can hide all the contours so that it can be one solid shape and that will be your cut layer and that's gonna be your clear HTV layer. Then we're just gonna press make it. I take off bleed. I always press um, for it to use the printer system dialog i'm printing on my sawgrass so i'm just gonna do it like i always do it i'm gonna drag for the best outcome and then i'm just gonna enter my settings for substrate i'm doing heat tra um transfer vinyl and then i am printing and making sure that that is mirrored then just going to go into cricut design space to cut out my clear HTV using the everyday iron on setting. We're gonna start off by cutting our clear HTV. So we're gonna get our Cricut mat and then we're going to, you don't have to use a strong grip mat, that's just what I'm gonna use. Um, and you want that shiny side to be down. So the, again, the mat side should be facing up and we're gonna cut this on our Cricut. Okay, now we have our design printed. I, you can cut this on your Cricut, like you cut your HTV. I kind of don't find the point in doing that. I know some people do. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim around it, making sure that I don't keep these registration marks. And then with our HTV, we're just gonna weed it. You're just gonna take your weeding tool, poke one corner, lift it up, and just pull 
all of it out just like that. So now you'll have your HTV and they should be, your HTV will be a little bit bigger than your paper, but you'll have this. Again, make sure that your design is mirrored. Now we're gonna take our outside fabric, just one of, one of them, unless you're doing double, like you can do one on the front and back. I'm just doing one on the front. Make sure you got the right side of your fabric. You can use a lint roller if you want and just take off any possible lint that will kind of hinder your HTV from sticking to it. And then you're gonna find your placement for your HTV. So mine kind of already has a fold in the middle, so I'm gonna use that. You can take your HTV and take the carrier sheet and kind of line up your design. You don't wanna line up the carrier sheet because then you're not gonna actually get the middle, but line up the edges of your design and then just kind of crease the carrier sheet right and then you'll have like a little line to kind of go off of. And I'm gonna line up that up with my center. When you're doing this, remember the top of your gift bag is you're gonna have a seam allowance, which is gonna be one fourth. Or if you wanna do a bigger seam allowance, you can. I'm gonna do a one fourth seam allowance. And then you're gonna have your casing for your ribbon. So you don't wanna start too up high. And then on the bottom, all you're gonna have is your seam allowance. So, and I think for me, that's good. You can, you don't have to, but you can get some heat tape. You can tape that down if you don't want it to shift on the weight. There, you don't need a lot of heat tape if you're gonna tape this down because your carrier sheet is sticky. So now we can take this to our heat press. So I'm gonna find a butcher paper down. To cover my mats, I'm gonna bring over my fabric with my HTV. I'm actually gonna take a Teflon sheet and put that on. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna take a piece of butcher paper because I have it here and put that on top. I have my heat press at 385. Check your HTV's um, time and temp, your clear HTV. But I'm just gonna do 385 for about five seconds just to tack it down. And then we're gonna peel off our carrier sheet. You, if you want, you can pre-press your fabric so that you don't get any wrinkles in your HTV. Now we're gonna get our sublimation design. We're gonna flip it over and you should be able to see your design through the paper. And you're just gonna line that up. And then you wanna take your heat tape and you're just gonna tape it down. We're taping this down with heat tape, not regular tape. And then you're going to take your butcher paper and you're going to press for the regular time that you would with sublimation, 60 seconds. And take your heat gloves, take off your butcher paper, and then slowly start lifting your sublimation paper, just like that. Your sublimation paper should look faded. That's how you'll know you have good ink release. And you see the texture of my fabric on there. And it pressed really nicely. This is how my design looks. 